Do you want to know what I always say to people whenever I, you know, see Pokemon swoosh look bad tweet or comment? Look beyond the tree. Beyond the tree. Beyond the blank sea. Look beyond. Look beyond that Snorlax. Beyond. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 81 of Pokemon Sword. Oh my god, we're still here. We're still here. Why is this one of the biggest Pokemon games in existence now? Because DLC, that's why. Okay, probably the DLC didn't really need to carry this game, but it did anyway, and this DLC is awesome. Anyway, here we are today, and we are going to turn in that clue to Peony. Hey there, Chief. Thanks for stopping by. I'm finally getting the low-quality family time with my darling Nia. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's great. Hmm? I dropped something at base camp. Is it really mine? I don't recall ever writing it. What? Hang on. Isn't that the Max Lair? Wait, isn't that the Max Lair there in that clue? Wah! Huh? What happened? Creatures! A horde of creatures appeared in the Max Lair! And we don't know if they're Pokemon! What? Has something caused alien beings to appear? And is this somehow connected to that ultra wormhole that opened up briefly in the sky? Hmm, well, this sounds like some new crazy things afoot. And you know what that means, Chief. Bet you a new expedition's approaching. And I know just what to call this one. They came from the ultra beyond, beyond. <laughs> How do you like that one, Chief? Anyway, for now, there's a goal. Catch the Pokemon, or whatever, in the photo on that odd clue. Now get Pup for some more adventuring. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Aliens! <laughs> All right, so... They came from the Ultra Beyond... The clue refers to an ultra wormhole that has appeared recently. In the legendary clue? Question mark. And if you look very closely, you'll see that thing in the sky is called an ultra wormhole. What that is, is that aliens. Like, actual, legitimate aliens. <laughs> but... The Ultra Wormhole refers to the phenomenon that was originally discovered in the Alola region. The phenomenon of Ultra Wormholes brings forth Ultra Beasts. And you know what that means. We're finding some aliens today. However, this all goes back to the point where Max Slayers are concerned. Uh, this is entirely randomized. <laughs> All of this ultra wormhole business is entirely randomized. We do have, we do have a target, yes. And that target is the very Pokemon that we saw in the ultra wormhole. However, good luck trying to make it appear when everything is random. Our target is... Well, I'll target. Well, I, I should probably well, I should probably save that for the road ahead. Uh is it? Ooh. Could be. Oh, and by the way, I turned off anime I turned off animations just to save us some time. Anyway, I'm going at this alone because this is what I just do. Anyway, our target is the Pokemon that's in the legendary clue. However, this also means that each and every single Ultra Beast that was originally discovered in the Alola region is present and accounted for in this game. And you can find it and you can find them regardless of version. So, 
The Ultra Beasts are as follows. Regardless of version, you can find the Ultra Beasts Nihiligo, Buzzwool, Veramosa, Circuitry, Celestila, Kartana, ah! I mean Guzzlord, Staka, Taka, Waka, 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 and finally, Blacephalon. Those last two Ultra Beasts, Staka, Taka, and Blacephalon were introduced in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And I will save our target. Ooh, we got the freeze. We got the freeze. Let's go. And yes, I turned off uh, animations just to save us some time. Anyway, uh, yes, our target is the big Ultra Beast Boy. And unfortunately, though, they're also grouped in with all the other legendary Pokemon that can be found in here. So either this could take a while or this could take just one Dynamax adventure. We only need to find that one Ultra Beast that I singled out. So that's fine. So that's fine enough in order to complete the quest. However, there's something in there for you if you want to, if you want to, there's something in, what am I trying to say? Jesus, there's some reward for you if you attempt to, <laughs> You want to do five Ultra Beast Dynamax Adventures if you want a special reward. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So, you know how Dynamax Adventures work at this point? You can also find others to help you out if you want, but I'm going it alone because I just have no friends. <laughs> no friends to help me. I should say. No friends to help me. I, it's not like, you know, I, I, I don't have any friends or anything. It's just, you know, I I, I just want to get this over with. But anyway. Uh, yes, so hopefully this psychic type will be our target that we're looking for. It probably is if it's locked in if this, if this particular expedition is locked into finding that one Ultra Beast so, I'm hoping. I'm seriously hoping. Never mind, it's a Latios. <laughs> I mean, I might as well go for it anyway. I might, I might as well just go for it anyway because, well, it's a legendary. Obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way if that's if that was the case. But. Uh, yeah, it turns out it's not locked. You have to find this on your own. And it's completely randomized. So, if you want to complete this expedition, then you're going to need to find that very Ultra Beast. Because otherwise, uh, you won't be able to com fully complete the story of the Crown Tundra then. Of course, obviously, you don't really have to. But... Uh, you know, but, you know, it's it's nice to have, you know? At least Lurantis is doing some good. By the way, I went to a scientist and swapped out Flygon for Heatmore. Don't know if that was a good choice for Latios, but, you know, I'm gonna try anyway. I might as well try. Well, I did catch the Latios, which is nice. But I know I'm probably going to have to... I'm probably going to have to go on some more Dynamax adventures if I want to get the target that we're looking for. <laughs> At least we got nine Dynite Ore out of it. But anyway. Um, so, if you want to pre if you want to predetermine the uh, Pokemon that you're going to be looking for in the in the Max Lair, uh, speak to Nia. Because she will tell you which Pokemon can be currently found in the Max Lair on your next run. And you can also share this with your friends if you want to. Just have just have Nia um, tell you which Pokemon you're going to be finding down there. And uh, if you want to...
get your friends together and have them join you, then they will find Ho-Oh too. So, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, though, uh, that's gonna have to be your next, that's gonna have to be your, uh, next run. Or actually, actually, no, um, unfortunately, um, it cost, it cost five Dynite Ore, which is not really that bad, but unfortunately, uh, Ho-Oh is not what I'm looking for. So, yeah, that's not really what I'm gonna be looking for. I, I don't want to talk to you, Dotler, I don't want to talk to you. All right, so what's this Dr. Dude all about? I appreciate the hello, but you're not ready for what I got to offer. Come try me again if you got more of these Dynamax adventures under your belt. Well, okay, sir. Okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do, right? You know what I'm going to do? Uh, have a look. What do you mean? Actually... No. <laughs> He's probably looking for that Ultra Beast that I've that I've been wanting to look for, but that's on target, but you know, it's nothing. Anyway, I'm going to be back with you once I find the target that I'm looking for because <laughs> this is going to take a month and a half. And by that I probably mean a few hours. So if you'll excuse me, I suppose while we're here, I might as well give you a a status update I haven't gotten it yet I took a little break and now I'm gonna go back at it again for another hour but I might as well show you that uh peony will or peonia will say something cool hey have you heard rumors about this long-haired woman Apparently, night after night, she visits a grave in the tundra, always looking for something. Ooh. Might have to check that out really quick. But before we do that, uh, something that could actually be very helpful. So, I've already had some encounters, and I've already gotten some legendary Pokemon already. If you do manage to make it all the way over to the legendary Pokemon, but failed to uh, catch it, that's okay, because the lady will... Jot down the paths to the various Pokemon for you. So, all that is very well and good. So, if you ever want another shot at any Pokemon that you didn't catch, there's your guy. I freaking got screwed out of Reshiram because of Arakornit's stupid entertainment attack. Switching the abilities of all of my teammates. Thanks! I didn't need that, but okay! Charlie, at last! Hello? Hello, you there? This is Charlie's Roll Tom phone, right? No. Wrong number. Ah, sorry about that. Looks like I got the wrong number. Though your voice does sound awfully familiar, I gotta say. Hang on, Charlie. It really is you, isn't it? You're bad as hop, you rascal. Oh, sorry. I guess I should have said who was calling you, eh? It's me, Leon. Sorry if I took you aback. But rest assured... There can only be a pretty good reason for me to call you out of the blue like this. The former champion of Galar has a favor to ask of the current champion. And that's you, Charlie. Come on over to Winden Stadium and I tell you all the details. I'll head that way myself now and I swear I won't take any detours or get lost. Not right now, Leon. I got a long-haired lady to see. Could this be it? November 30. Green floor slams in a play. Ooh. Oh, that's something I never noticed before. Oh. And here's something I never noticed before. The TR for Shadow Ball is right here. I found him. I did it. I found him. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's the day after I started recording this now. Um, I have... Well, I only really took like a few Dynamax Adventures and caught some few legendary Pokemon along the way. But I did it! And now it's like the day, the day afterwards and all it took was one Dynamax Adventure 
And very luckily, the Pokemon this time around have been really helpful. They've been incredibly, incredibly helpful. Like, I got the Scyther that has Fury Cutter. And most of the, the most of the opponents on this Dynamax Adventure have been uh, Dark type. So, I had a good, good chance. I had a good, good chance. <laughs> but yes! Since I didn't go over it, I'll probably go over it whenever we have next turns next. But Necrozma is our target. And the one that you need to catch in order to finish the expedition. And every single expedition for good. Uh, come on, Torkoal. Come on. Okay, here we go. Necrozma is what you call the ultimate in Ultra Beasts. This thing is an absolute monster when it comes to the moves it can learn and what it can do. Necrozma might not be as special as you think, being, you know, being the standard, you know, special attacker legendary of Alola and pretty decent mixed attacker at that. However, what separates it is what separates it from the rest and what basically puts it in the same category as Pokemon like Kiram is the ability to merge with two other Pokemon. Necrozma can merge with Solgaleo and Lunala in order to make Duskmane Necrozma and Dawnwing's Necrozma, gaining their good stats and signature moves. Once you do that, Necrozma becomes damn near unstoppable. It might not have its Ultra Burst form anymore, but still, you can't really be mad when it can use its signature moves like Prismatic Laser, a Psychic Special 160, 100 ac 160 power, 100 accuracy, 10 PP move, that's a Psychic Hyper Beam, and Photon Geyser, a Psychic Special 100 accuracy, 100 power move that deals attack or special attack damage, whichever is highest for the user. So, you can't really go wrong with Necrozma here being pure Psychic type, or Psychic Steel type for Duskmane, or Dawnwing's Necrozma for, for Psychic Ghost. Basically, it is the ultimate in Ultra Beasts. Its signature ability is Prism Armor, meaning that it reduces the power of special super effective moves by 25% whenever it's hit by super effective moves. So, yeah, it's definitely something worth your while. Now, the reason why I'm using Flax Max Flutterby is because I want to reduce this thing's special attack to as low as it can go. And very thankfully, Torkoal... Torkoal's AI basically makes it so that, you know, it wants to use Smokescreen to lower the accuracy. So, I am extremely thankful for that. Unfortunately, I did lose one heart, though. And I only have, like, three more faints before I get ejected from the den. But, you know, unless something really, really bad happens, I don't think I have to worry. I really don't think I have to worry about a thing. This thing's accuracy is pretty low. And like an idiot, it just used Photon Geyser on us uh, on Sneasel, which is a dark type. And it stinks. It stinks. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. Throw chop. Got it! Got it! Alright, y'all. Just like all the legendaries beforehand, this is a 100% catch, so feel free to use any Pokeball you want. And I'm gonna go with the Premier Ball because it's just that good. <laughs> At least this video didn't take me like days to make, like Christ. It took me hours, but not days. And there it is. Necrozma. That's our target. And that's who we're going with.
Got nine dynamite ore from that. And we won't give it a nickname. And there it is. We got Necrozma. Now all we need to do is just to show it to Peony and we are good to go. These are all the Pokemon. These are some of the Pokemon that I managed to get from the Dynamax Adventures. Like, how did I get a Sceptile, an Entei, Tapu Lele, a Krasma? Like, oh my god. <laughs> um, there were some other Pokemon that I managed to actually get. Uh, I was feeling a little bit desperate and decided to Wonder Trade some of my uh, Dreepies away. However, it basically led to nothing as I only got like a Snover, a Badoo, Trevenant, which I got from Phantom, which I forgot that Phantom evolves via Trade Evolution. And a Skorupi, which is nice, but, you know, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same, dude. It ain't the same. Oh, yeah, and I also happened to get a, t a really easy Tapu Fini. And I got a Qrem, which is also nice. I got Frostlass, I got Tapu Coco, I got Latios, I got Latios, I got a G Max Duraladon, I got a Kanto Articuno, I got another Sogaleo. <laughs> um, yeah, those are just some of the legendary Pokemon that you can find via the Max Lairs. And uh, yeah, there is Necrozma right there and right there. Oi, oi, Chief. Got something legendary to show me? Huh? You actually caught a Pokemon using that mysterious clue? Let me have a look, would you? So this one's Necrozma, the Prism Pokemon. Looks pretty dark and unprismy, eh? What? It came from another world looking for light? Sounds like you just need to get some more time on the sun, Necrozma, mate. I wouldn't, sure, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Chin up. You'll be sparkling with energy in no time. The picture of prismatic health. That's that anyway. Chief, mind letting me see that legendary clue? And there it is. I did this for the first time. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't write this clue, Chief. But let's not stop the fun. Um, excuse me. Where did you find that paper exactly? It was at our base camp. That's actually from my notes. I wonder how this could have happened. Yeah! <laughs> haven't got a single shred of an idea! Indeed, sir. I imagine you haven't. Anyway, I'm quite relieved that you found that paper. Not to mention that you caught Necrozma, the one responsible for that ultra wormhole. Please accept this with my thanks as a reward for your cooperation in my research. You get the ability patch. Now you can you now you can apply this to a Pokemon and it will gain a rare ability. And a beast ball. Let me remind you that you can't find Ultra Beasts out in the wild, only in the max layers, where it's a 100% catch rate. Oh, and no need about returning the paper. I got another copy. I've got to hand it to you, Chief. Only you can track down and catch a thing like that with only just a single photo to go on. Still, I gotta say, it feels like we come to the end of a chapter or something, doesn't it? You look ready to keep going on for a while yet, though. Go on then, Chief. Can't hear to wait about all the exploits and adventures you get up to from here on out. Yeah, I can't wait for that to probably never talk to you again ever but you can actually have a battle with him now and you can rematch him once per day but we're not going to take care of that right now because there's one more bit of information aside from the long-haired woman rumors uh there's one more bit of information that you should know that was only ultra beast number one that we did we need to get Five Ultra... We need to complete five Dynamax Adventures that involve Ultra Beasts. And I'm definitely going to do that in another recording. <laughs> so, once you get five Ultra Beast Adve Dynamax Adventures all cleared, this will happen. Oh, and by the way, by the way, you only have space for about three of these. 
if you happen to run into another legendary Pokemon and she asks you to jot down the notes, she'll ask you if you want to clear a space for them. Very thankfully, I have Nihiligo in my in the research notes, so that's fine. So that will be probably number two right off the bat. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back to death and depression. Oh, oh that was good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I'm still I'm still so freaking high. <laughs> because I finally found my uh, Ultra Beasts. I got Nihiligo. I got Buzzwool. I have uh, Kartana. I have Guzzlord. And I have... Uh, which other one did I... Which other one did I get? <laughs> I mean, I know I got Necrozma for what? Oh, right. Feromosa. Okay. So, as it turns out, other than Necrozma, you need to find five Ultra Beasts. Doesn't matter who they are. Just five Ultra Beasts will do. <laughs> and then, and after I've gotten a lot of Pokemon from the Dynamax Adventures, including Ho-Oh and all... And some other Pokemon that I would like to name right now, but I can't because this is just too good. Alright, so, after Necrozma, finding five Ultra Beasts and catching them will net you this guy. I believe this Pokemon, that is the Pokemon known as Poiple. I found it a, a little while ago deep within the Max Lair, but... The more I study it, the more questions I have. It's such a strange Pokemon. I believe it might have something to do with the current situation we're in. I really need to buckle down and focus on my research of the Max Lair. But Poiple keeps trying to wander off as soon as I take my eyes off it. i like a skilled trainer to accept Poiple and take care of it for me. You wouldn't happen to be interested, would you, Charlie? Yes! And with that, we have the final gift Pokemon. The final gift Pokemon is the Ultra Beast known as Poiple. And yes, Poiple is the actual name of the Ultra Beast. So when you first get it, it's at level 20. It is... Has, ooh, it's got a defense nature. Okay. It has beast boost for its ability, meaning its highest stat will be risen every time it kills a Pokemon. And it'll come packaged with the moves Helping Hand, Acid, Fury Attack, and Fell Stinger. Now, that may seem all well and good to you. However, this is an Ultra Beast that can evolve. And it's not exactly clear what you're supposed to do in order to make it evolve. Um, so you might want to take it to a Pokemon Center if you want to, you know, fully see what that is. So you want to take it to the move reminder and have Poiple remember a move. What move do you want to have it learn? Dragon Pulse. So, I'm going to get rid of Helping Hand for that. And with that, we're all set. All we need to do is just to level up, one, level it up once, and then we're all good to go to evolve it. Wants to learn Charm? Nope. So, by leveling it up and having it learn Dragon Pulse, or having Dragon Pulse and making it evolve... By leveling up once. We'll evolve it into Naga Nadel. Wants to learn charm. Nope. <laughs> and it's gonna learn air cutter upon evolving. Uh we'll we'll, we'll see. And so with that, we have Naga Nadel on our side. And Naganadel is a speedy sweeper of special attack nature. 
So, with the moves that it can learn from, you know, special attack stuff, it can honestly not really get a whole lot via level up, like, or move reminder. Like, Dragon Pulse and Air Slash are fine. It's Poison Dragon type, so it... So it can make good use of, out of poison and dragon type when it comes to, when it comes to uh, you know stabs and all that. It can get Venishok and all that. But in terms of TMs and TRs though, uh, you can use well Venishok for one. <laughs> you can have it learn Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Fire Blast, Sludge Bomb, Uproar, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Dragon Pulse again, Sludge Wave. And you can teach it Draco Meteor from the T from the Move Tutor at Surchester. And from the Isle of Armor, you can have it learn Dual Wing Beat and Scale Shot. Nothing really too bad in terms of special attacks. However, you could do with much worse, honestly. Anyway, that will do it for the Ultra Beast quest. <laughs> Look, let's be honest. Let's be honest. It didn't really end with... The Ultra Beast quest didn't really end with us, you know, catching Necrozma. It ended with us getting Poipal. That was it. <laughs> yeah, that that was... That was... Yeah. That's, that's cool, man. That's really cool. And yeah, we're, we, we're still here. <laughs> like... How is this like how how is how is how is sword and shield not packed with content again? <laughs> I mean, okay, 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 okay. I got I got to make it plain and clear. I got to make it plain and clear. Um even though we have only a little bit of business left in the Crown Tundra, I really hope you understand that the DLC price that the stuff with the DLC is kind of worth it, you know? Like two wild areas 200 Pokemon that you can easily find. And the fact that you can find all sorts of legendaries in the Crown Tundra. And a story that builds a relationship between you and a Cub Fu and the Isle of Armor. Like, how could you go wrong? How can you honestly go wrong with that? You can't. Because you really, you really cannot go any more wrong than you already have with that. For real. Seriously. You seriously can't go wrong. And yeah, I know. I already tried going to Landorus. Anyway, uh, randomly, Pionia will will actually sell, will actually give you some futuristic monocles. Uh, I think those are clothes. I mean, if they're not listed under... If they're not listed under, like, other items or whatever else, then obviously they must be, you know, part of the clothesline. I guess you can just use monocles with that, actually. Um, but, yeah. That basically does it. Anyway. Um, I'm going to try... Well, this will probably, this will definitely be the next video for sure. But I'm going to try my very best to make that long haired woman appear. And it all has to do with randomness. I'm going to try it just this once because you need to get that message from Pionia that, you know, night after night, the long haired woman will be looking at the grave in the old cemetery for something. And I realized upon looking it up that this encounter is completely random, which is dumb, which why wouldn't it trigger upon, why wouldn't it trigger upon Nia saying, hey, look at there, there's an old lady. <laughs> I really try to make her Welsh, but you know, I just have Nia on the brain. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. And so it turns out that the woman appearing at the cemetery is completely random and I have no idea why that's random. I don't know. I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. There's like not enough information on the internet to like back this up. The only thing that I've managed to find on uh, upon looking it up is the fact that, you know, everyone that everyone I looked up a video about this about this topic says that, 
you know, this is all completely random, and it has to do with you speaking to Nia about, you know, you know, saying that, hey, there's this old, there's this lady that appears at the old cemetery at night, at night sometimes, or whatever. It didn't appear to me the other, the other night before, so maybe, maybe. But anyway, uh, that will about do it, actually. That will about do it. So, next time on Pokemon Sword, we're going to wrap up our business at the Crown Tundra since there's barely anything else left to do. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. This is like three separate files for number 81, and it takes me like days to complete. Oh my god. This Let's Play is a curse, man. <laughs> this, this Let's Play is a blessing and a curse. <laughs>